Okay, we're going to do a demo on counter conditioning. Counter conditioning is changing how a dog feels about something they are currently afraid of or reactive to. So if this dog doesn't like having people reach for her, you'll notice I have a treat in this hand. She likes her treats and I'm gonna have her focused on this treat and it's very important that this treat goes into her mouth the same time this hand is coming forward and it's just one little quick movement like so and I'm back out of there again. She handled that. It was not a big deal and so I'm going to do it again back out. She's, I'm keeping her below threshold. I'm keeping her unstressed. I want her to know that we're not going to go any faster than she can handle. So and back out again. So important to know that the second you see any stress in the dog, any tension, any nervousness, you back up, you don't go any further, you've gone too far when you see that. So it's important to not try to push it. Hands here with the treat, she's focused on the treat. I'm coming back in the same time to touch her collar and the hand came right back off. Do not Send the hand in first and then the treat because you can actually make her afraid of the treats. We can have the opposite effect. So it's important that focus on the treat. I don't want your paw. Hand comes in, touches the collar, and they're both coming back out at the same time. Always find something the dog is comfortable with. So if things go wrong in one area, go back and do something the dog is comfortable with and make sure you end on a positive note. Did I forget